You've heard the knuckles. Time to get serious. Asalaamu Alaikum everyone. And today is going to be rather a very important update for maybe for the for the past few months that I've actually been updating for Bitcoin ever since the beginning. This is going to go down as one of the most important updates that I need to lay down in front of you, in front of all of you guys. And I think it's time to actually go Einstein mode. It's time to actually talk about the number series, okay, of what Bitcoin is really doing out there. And I'm actually going to talk uh, about something that no one else over the internet might have noticed or maybe didn't notice, but I'm pretty sure nobody has ever talked about this before. Okay, so it's going to be rather a very important one. So stick to it until the end. And one request is I want this video to be shared as much as possible because the value of information that is about to actually take place to take place is going to be really, really crazy. Okay, so if I don't care if you don't have any crypto friends or anything, but I just want you to actually share this one Tweet this if you want to as well. If you cannot do that, if it's actually a very big problem, just like this video kindly the thing is the number series there's actually three foundation of this video in total number one is going to be number series which i'm actually going to dive in into we're going to go into the mathematics part of it i actually do hate math but today it's actually going to be interesting to talk about mathematics and i'm pretty sure you also hate mathematics the second thing is going to be combining the number series with technical analysis okay and i'm going to get into that part as well and the third one is going to be the date of what is about to happen i'm pretty sure the introduction doesn't make sense but i'm going to actually break everything piece by piece and we're going to get into the detail of it so without any further ado let's get started so here I am and right now I've already dived into the charts. Okay, so it's Monday 18th of July. We've started off a new week and I do talk about Bitcoin on a weekly time frame as well. But we're going to get into that one very quickly. But you might think right now, what is this three arrows that I've actually draw that is going on? Okay, so I've been look looking at this thing again and again and again and again until I didn't finally find and try to figure out what Bitcoin was really doing. So we're going to get into the number series, first of all. But before that, I want you to look at this auto draw thing that I actually brought up. And you can see the numbers that I've already drawn. Now, this one doesn't make sense to you, but it's going to make sense to you in just a second. So if you take three numbers 20 30 40 can you predict the next few numbers and if you, in the in the second section which is down here if we take another three numbers which is going to be 20 25 and 30 and i tell you actually to try to predict the next number can you do that it's pretty easy okay so if i take 30 minus 20 the difference is going to be 10. If I take 40 and minus by 30, the difference is going to be 10. Likewise and vice versa, if I take 20 and add 10 to 30, uh, sorry, add 10 to 20, it's going to be 30. Take 30, add 10, it's going to be 40. And we can actually understand that the common difference is 10. So we can actually add 10 to 40 to get 50, isn't it? Right? That's out of the way. If you understood, very well and amazing now the second thing down here is from 20 to 25 to 30 you might understand that the common difference between this number right here is actually five okay so the five is the common difference and you're gonna get 35 okay so pretty much the theory part of it is out of the way and now let's dive deep into the practical part of this thing now I was looking at Bitcoin and trying to see where the hell is it going to go from here. And ladies and gents, the number that I have actually told you, we're actually going to dive in and zoom for, for this one as well. Okay, so the first area that you see right now is Bitcoin dumping in the date of 29 of March 2022, which is pretty much like maybe seven months ago, not seven months ago, but four months ago. Okay. So what is the first dump that took place? So you take the top here, 
to the bottom right there this is where you dump look at it you actually went down for a 20 percent down to the downside with that wick actually included it's nearly 20 percent okay that number one is out of the way so i'm actually going to write in here as 10 okay so the number series is going to come in and play in very very beautifully okay all right so the 10 is out of the way so let's look at the second dump of uh, all right after that one uh, after that sideways movement so this was the sideways movement you got the 10 percent dump to the downside and actually this is wrong because i was supposed to actually write 20 and not 10 this is going to be 20 right over there so let's do that small correction right over here okay amazing 20 right over there that's an actual ugly handwriting but it's okay now let's dive in into the second dump and let's take the measurement of the second dump so from there to there you're looking for nearly a 30 percent dump to the downside and actually this one starts from here losing that structure and look at that with the wick included we can actually round off the number for a 30 percent dump to the downside actually okay so the second dump for the second arrow took 30 percent dump to the downside so each dump getting bigger and bigger by 10 percent Okay, so here we go, and then this one, if you look at the uh, recent dump that we had previously, you can actually take this to there, and you can already see that we went for that 39-40% dump to the downside, and I can actually say that now you do have the 40 percent dump right over here so the number series is actually playing out for the first part that I actually explained with the 10 being the difference so if we actually look at it this way what if I told you the big question mark right now is the following if I do take the arrow once again just like that the question really is what is the number that is about to get to get in and if we look at the calculation of the number series we got 50 okay so if we're about to get 50 then ladies and gentlemen from the top here to the bottom of the 50 percent then you're looking for this thing to actually go all the way down for 50 percent which is going to be nearly nine thousand five hundred dollars boom right over there and i've talked about this technical target in the previous videos as well and that's where i think bitcoin is going to go now this is out of the way and we're actually going to see if that pattern repeats now i talked about the second version of this thing and that is the first one was number series the second one was going to be the combination with the ta okay because this is technical analysis and we're not doing math at all, but actually, link, uh, you know, math is actually linked with Bitcoin. So, number one, I'm going to go to Google very quickly. Let's type in a bearish, you know, rectangle pattern over there. And this is what I want to see uh, uh, at the moment. So let's bring in this image right over there. Actually, let's bring this theory right over here. So when you're moving down, you actually start to move sideways and that's called a bearish rectangle pattern and then when you drop to the downside you go for the retest and then you continue to go to the downside right so number one again let's go back and let's zoom right over this area okay so when you went down like this you went down you made that bearish rectangle pattern you broke to the downside and you moved to the downside okay so that te technical target was met and you actually uh, even w went down which is known as an overextended so you went all the way down to $32,000 okay now the next thing is that as soon as you went down you continue you made another bearish rectangle boom is this another bearish rectangle because as far as I see things if you look at Bitcoin at the current situation you what are you doing with Bitcoin by the way you are failing to cross a very important level and that is actually this one you're finding resistance right over there and if I turn on the volume if you're not in the discord join the discord because in the discord I talk about the volume divergences here so if I bring the image right over there you can see when the prices are pushing up the volume is dropping it seems that the buying pressure is, is decreasing so look at it went up the buying pressure really low and right now you're also putting in a spinning top or potentially you could be putting in a, a bearish engulfing candlestick or a tweezer top right over there so if i actually go to google once again and i write in tweezer top boom just like that you're going to find the tweezer top uh, to be something like this nearly uh, similar patterns the green candle the red candle and the reversal actually starts to move to the downside and you can see the future plate just over here with the image you can actually look at that if my idiot internet actually loads once again but it doesn't load but it's okay but i actually think that you got the point now the thing is from here you can actually go down and you can expect this thing to go down and 
that's where the fun actually actually comes in if this is your bearish rectangle pattern then we are actually combining the ta as well with the bearish rectangle so from there to there if you do break out then you're looking for bitcoin to actually come down where 11,174 and we do know that every time you drop from a bearish rectangle you actually got a, li a little bit extended to the downside which actually goes from that for that 50% drop and it takes you down to $9,567. Now that was the combination with the TA with technical analysis. Boom that's it. The final part of the piece to the puzzle comes in to the date when is the drop about to happen and when the bottom is actually going to come in for 9567 the beauty of trading is that you have the tools and the head and the tools comes from the uh you know fibonacci retracement level i'm actually going to remove this drawing at the moment so that i can actually get a clear vision of when the drop is actually going to happen so i want you to go to the left side of your screen and actually Press on this level, which is going to be the fib retracement. Click on the fib retracement. Go down all the way to fib, uh, you know, trend-based fib time. Click on the trend-based fib time, and this will actually give you a particular date. So I'm going to take this bottom right over there uh, to the top right over here. But before that, before I even talk about the trend fib retracement, uh, let's bring back the uh, the old drawings as well so that I can tell you the second arithmetic number series which was about 20, 20, 25 and 30 and 35. What is this? Okay. Okay. Now let's go back into this, uh, you know, bearish rectangle and the sideways movement. So if I actually go back to this level side sideways movement that, that we can talk about right there, how many days did you actually take? So from here to here, you actually took, you can already see it was nearly 24 days that you actually took. Okay, 24, 25 days. You can already see that. Okay, if you try to zoom in a little bit, that's actually 25 days right over there. Okay, so from 11 April to 6 May is 25 days of sideways consolidation. What about the second sideways consolidation? So you actually started near this place and you actually stretch all the way to that place and you can see it took 30 days. What is the number difference? Five right over there. So if you actually took 20 days or sorry 25 days right 25 days and 30 days so what tells you that the common difference is going to be five right so this time this time we are looking for a 35 day consolidation before we go for the big drop down to nine thousand dollars which is actually going to be from here 18 of june sideways consolidation and if you look at uh at 35 days if we talk about 35 days then uh, this is going to be somewhere here near 23 of july okay so 23 of july is when the dump can actually happen based on the number series okay so i'm actually going to drop this 35 days right over there and when you actually come for 35 days i actually want to go onto the calendar and i want to look what is 23 of july if you look at 23 of july that is a saturday so on a saturday you actually dropped you're looking for bitcoin to drop and that's a weekend so next or not, not even next weekend this weekend it's looking to go to the downside okay and when is the potential bottom for that uh, particular drop to the downside when, when is the bottom going to be in? How many days is it going to take to fall before you reach the bottom of the $9,500? That's why I actually want to take the trend based time fib retracement. So back in 21 July 2021, you take the bottom all the way up to the top here, just like that. Um, just going to place this one right over here, and this one is going to be right over there. So let's look at it this way, okay? Um, when you drop for this one drop here, you actually find the bottom at that line okay the second bottom was at the second line do you see that just look just notice here let me zoom in again and let me repeat this one with you along the way okay so this is gonna be an amazing amazing update for you that's why I say you must share this one so the first line was the bottom 
the second line was the bottom, the third line right over here was nearly the bottom, so you're looking for this fourth line to be the bottom, which actually tells you that 5th of August, between 5, 4, 6, 7 of August is going to be your bottom before the next potential sideways. And if Bitcoin is interested to drop once again, and this one turns out to play perfectly with the 50% drop, and you make another bearish uh, rectangle, then my friend, you're looking for a 60% drop, and that, that could potentially take you down to this level, which I highly doubt is going to happen. And who knows what's going to be next. And that's it for today's update on Bitcoin. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'm going to see you in the next one. I love this.